Hey gang, Terry back here. It's going to be my last lesson. I do want to get outside and I want to spend some time with my family today too. So I, I just couldn't let this go. You know, I was like, okay, that's enough for today. But then I walked right back in the office and said, no, I, I got to get something else out there and I got to have you really hear this. And this is important. You know, this is an interesting industry. Years ago, the Wall Street Journal interviewed me, many years ago. I was speaking at an ICF conference, um, speaking to MCCs and this gentleman came up to me, he was from the New York Times, and he said, this is network marketing. I said, what is? He said, coaching. I was like, it isn't. Where'd you get that impression? And believe me, I have no problems with network marketing. I do network marketing. If you're not doing it as a passive income stream, you should be. It's a, it's a fabulous way to make money, and it's really a way to serve our economy and to get good products out there. But in any case, I'm not here to slay you that. Here's the deal. Um, he, I said, why would you think this is network marketing? He said, because as I understand it, you know, there's this organization that tells coaches that to be a coach, you have to hire another coach, and you have to study with that coach for a period of time. And I said, you know what? It fascinates me in this industry. It has since day one. It's an interesting model. I think the model came from lack. It came from, you know what? We know that a lot of coaches don't have clients. Well, this will force a market onto those poor, struggling coaches who don't have clients. So let me be very clear, as I always am. Never. Spend your money, and I like to call it an investment, but if you're doing it this way, it's spending. On someone who is not running far, far ahead of you, making way more than you're currently making, having a really juicy, delicious, successful life, having all the stuff that you want, the freedom, the time, uh, the joy to be able to do what they want, wake up when they want, be with their family, be with their friends, be out in nature, whatever it might be. Do not spend time and money investing in struggling coaches or in coaches who are just a little bit better than you are. When I first started in this industry, I had a couple of coaches that were really great, awesome, decent, amazing. And then the third year, I decided I really wanted to take this over the top. You know, I wanted to create millions of dollars with my business. And honestly, it's not for financial reasons. And I know a lot of you know me and know my mission and my vision. It is to serve children who have reflexive sympathetic dystrophy. Um, I suffer from that, and goodness gracious, I do well um, that I've seen so many poor children that really suffer from this disease that has very little research and funding. And so because I love doing what I do, can't stop doing it, I have the ability to make a very nice income and to give income to charities. And it's important to me. It's part of my mission and vision. I couldn't, again, be who I am without that. So what happened for me is I hired a coach that was... I'll just say at the time, you know, to me, extremely expensive, $50,000. And it was $50,000 for about eight hours of time over the course of you know, something like eight months. And I hired a second coach at the same time, specialized in something different. And he was $36,000 or thirty-seven. dollars And people said to me, you're investing, you know, eighty, ninety thousand dollars $90,000. This is crazy. Why would you invest that in a coach? It's because both of these coaches, one of them is a billionaire, truly. And I'm calling him a coach. He's not trained in the coaching profession. Look, gang, there's Tony Robbins. I mean, this is just so, so kind of funny to me. People are like, oh, they can't call themselves a coach. Yeah, you can call yourself a coach. You can call yourself a consultant, a mentor, a speaker, an author. You have to go to a, a certain accreditation for that. I clearly believe in coach training. That's why I founded an own coach institute. And that's because I find a lot of people just don't have a lot of skill sets that they need. So you need those skill sets, but you can be a coach. So here's the deal. I hired these people who weren't formally trained coaches, um, but who were two of the best, I'll call them consultants, gurus on the planet at what they did. And they advised, just like I do with my clients, advised, 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 gave all the secrets, shared everything, gave me the templates, gave me everything, made the connections like I do with my Platinum VIP clients, connected them with people to joint ventures, all kinds of things. In any case, Working with those two people instantly brought my business, um, and I'm not going to mention numbers, but it doubled my business, and I was already doing a lot. I'm just going to leave it at that. So my point, please take it out. My point to you is go invest in the best coach that you can. I don't care what you have to do. Get a loan. Get people to lend you the money. It is the best business, business investment you can make. Um, my... Uh, accountant says it's tax deductible. Check with your own accountant and give accounting advice. It is the investment you must make every year in your business. I have every single year. Right now, I'm spending hundreds, literally hundreds of thousands of dollars with four, one, two, three, four of the world's top coaches. Um, and again, not 
to, to say anything about the coaching industry, but there's too many failures. Go find yourself the most successful coach that you know, that you've heard of, that you've connected with, that you've heard from, whatever it might be, and hire that person. Don't blink your eyes and think, oh, that's a lot of money. Because if you do, people are going to think you're a lot of money too. And you're never going to earn that kind of money. So if you really value what you do and value your business, you'd invest it in this way. You know, think of it. If you want anything else, a store, a franchise, uh, I don't care what it is, a publishing business, you would invest $25,000, $30,000 easily into that business every year to better yourself and your skills and get a return on investment. Well, that's what a coach will do for you. And I know that's what I do for my VIP clients. So go do it. And again, I'm not telling you to hire me. Um, and I'm not even asking you to hire me. I do have an application process. I will take a few more people into the program. I, I never know quite how many. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here so that you understand you've got to run with the best people and make that investment. So these are your 10 lessons. Um, those of you who follow them, I'll see you right at the top, I know. Not just at the top income-wise, but success-wise and life-wise. I'm really excited about that. So keep me posted on your journey. Um, there's a contact form you can always fill out at terrylevine.com. I love to hear successes. Go have an awesome, extraordinary day, and I promise I will get those videos to you, giving you the 25 or 20, I haven't figured quite out yet how many there are, but the mistakes that people make coaching, and I will actually teach you and train you for free how not to make those mistakes, okay? I'm here to be of service to you, and as you already know, my goal is your success. Bye for now.